This illustration is related to sliding of a body down an inclined plane. Here the situation is stated as an inclined plane of length 10 meter and height 5 meter is divided into three equal parts so that a body starting from rest takes equal time to slide down these three parts and we are required to find the length of these three parts. Here if we draw the situation it is like this. This is an inclined plane which is of height 5 meter and its total length is 10 meter. Then obviously the angle theta here can be written as 30 degree because sine theta is 5 by 10 that is 1 by 2. Here if a body is starting from rest on this plane, say in a time t it travels a distance x1, in another time t it travels a distance x2. And in remaining time t3, all these times we are taking as equal the distance traveled as x3. And we are given that t1, t2, and t3 are all equal time intervals. So we are required to find the values of these lengths x1, x2, and x3. So in this situation here, we can write in time t the body slides. A distance x1. This implies the body will have a sliding acceleration a, and if we draw the free body diagram of the body, it is experiencing mg in downward direction. Here, uh, this angle would be 30 degree, so it will be experiencing g cos 30 degree acceleration in normal direction, and g sin 30 degree acceleration in the direction along the plane. So here we can write acceleration of uh, this body along the incline we can take as g sin 30 degree that can be taken as g by 2 which is 5 meters per second square. In this situation here x1 we can write as half a t square. The value of a we are having is uh, 5 so this can be written as 5 by 2 t square. And uh, in time duration 2t travels a distance x1 plus x2. So we can write x1 plus x2 is equals to half a 2t square. So this can be written as uh, here a again I can write as 5. So this 5 by 2 multiplied by 4. So that is 10t square. And uh, once again we can use x1 plus x2 plus x3 which is the total distance traveled by the particle along the incline in time 3t. So here I can write half a multiplied by 3t square. So this we are getting as 9 by 2a that is 45 by 2t square. And we know that this total distance is 10 meter. So here we are getting t square is equals to this is 20 by 45 which is 4 by 9. The value of t we are getting is if we take the square root of this, this 2 by 3 second. So if we take time as 2 by 3 second or directly if we use t square as 4 by 9, we can directly calculate the values of these lengths. So if this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So here I can write from 1 x1 is 5 by 2 multiplied by t square I can take as 4 by 9. So here the value would be 10 by 9 meter this first length. x2 I can write as 10 t square is 10 multiplied by 4 by 9 minus x1 which is 10 by 9. So here we can see this is 40 by 9 minus 10 by 9 is 30 by 9. So the result is 10 by 3 meter. Similarly, the value of x3 is equal to 10 minus x1 minus x2. So this will give us 10 minus 40 by 9. So this will be 50 by 9 meter. So these are the final results of this problem. The lens in which it is to be divided, the inclined plane is to be divided so that in equal intervals the particle the body will travel these distances.